Hello everyone, my name is Tanya Jori. I am a final year student of Civil Engineering, Faculty of Engineering and Technology, University of Lucknow. And I am here to give a seminar presentation on topic E-Waste used in concrete. So let's get started. Content. This presentation contains introduction in which we will know about E-Waste. After that, e-waste generation in India, then composition of e-waste, properties and replacement of coarse aggregate, then preparation and comparative test results, followed by case study, then conclusion, and the last references. What is e-waste? What is the full form of e-waste? E-waste stands for electronic waste as we all know india is a developing country and with the development of technology and electronic industry it led to the growing waste stream in the world e waste defined as loosely rejected surplus outdated broken electrical or electronic devices E-waste came from the refrigerator, washing machine, computer and printer, television and mobile, etc. E-waste regeneration in India. There are 10 states that contribute to the 70% of total e-waste. 65 cities generate more than 60% of the total e-waste in India, in which top 10 cities are Mumbai, Delhi, Bangalore, Chennai, Kolkata, Ahmedabad, Hyderabad, Pune, Surat, and Nagpur. Main source of electronic waste in India are the government, public, and private sector, which contribute to the 70%. Contribution of individual household is 15%. Rest is being contributed by the manufacturers. These are the different composition of e-waste, iron and steel 50%, plastics 21%, non-ferrous metal 13%, ferrous and non-ferrous metal plastics 10% and rest is mercury, arsenic, lead etc. So here we will see properties of coarse aggregate which we further replace by the e-waste. The coarse aggregate of crushed stone with the size 20 mm. The essential qualities are high crushing strength, low absorption value and least porosity. The water may affect concrete setting time, strength, shrinkage or promote corrosion of reinforcement. Replacement of coarse aggregate E-waste was collected locally from a PCB. PCB stands for printed circuit boards are a part to any electronic product cutting unit in the form of long chips copper strip present at the bottom of PCB were removed manually and broken in to 20 mm size you can see the image of waste printed circuit boards PCB basic test result this table will show the properties like specific gravity, water absorption percentage, color and shape of fine aggregate, coarse aggregate and e-waste. Specific gravity of fine aggregate is 2.6, for coarse aggregate it is 2.74 and for e-waste it is 1.9. Water absorption percent for fine aggregate is 1.2, for coarse aggregate 0.05% and for e-waste it is 0.2 percent color of fine aggregate dark dark for coarse aggregate and it's same for e-waste also shape of coarse aggregate and e-waste both are angular preparation of the specimen preparation of the concrete specimen include aggregate cement and e-waste after thoroughly mixing of these things water was added and the mixing was continued until a performed mix was obtained 
you can see these images first one is shows ordinary concrete specimen while the second one shows PCB concrete specimen this table will show comparative test result for compressive strength split tensile strength and flexural strength for the different proportion of e-waste added that is 0%, 5%, 10%, 15% and 20%. You can see the results. Now we will see one of the case study. This case study is from Atria Institute of Technology, Bangalore, Karnataka, India. The cubes and the cylinders were constructed at Atria Institute of Technology, Bangalore, Karnataka, India. The technique adopted for this study was hand mixing and by using concrete mixer for the mixed proportion of 1 is to 1.4 is to 2.4 is to 0.5 with water cement ratio of 0.5. The e-waste aggregate are added in amount 0%, 10%, 20% and 30% by the weight of cement in mixed. The mold was assembled prior to the mixing and properly lubricated for easy removal of hardened concrete. The cubes of standard mold size of 150 into 150 into 150 mm cube for cylinder it is 150 into 300 mm square and for beams it is 150 into 150 into 300 mm cube are used to prepare the specimen. The slum test was carried to find the water cement ratio of mix and then it was fed into the lubricated cast iron mold. Water curing method was adopted. The molded concrete cubes were given 24 hours to set before demolding. They were then immersed into a curing tank in order to increase the strength of the concrete, promote hydration, eliminate shrinkage and absorb heat of hydration until the edge of test. The cubes and cylinder were cured for 7 days, 28 days and 56 days respectively. The cubes and cylinder were then weighted before testing. Prior to the testing, the specimen were bought out of the curing tank left outside in an open air for about 3 hours before crossing. The compressive strength of the cubes were tested in accordance with BS1881 using universal crossing machine mix design. Now this table shows compressive strength test results at varying percentage of e waste after curing of 7 days, 14 days and 28 days. Different proportion of e-waste are 0%, 10%, 20% and 30%. You can see the table. Similarly, this table is for split tensile strength test result at varying percentage of e-waste after curing for 7 days, 14 days and 28 days respectively. Similarly, this is for flexural strength result at varying percentage of e-waste after curing of 7 days, 14 days and 28 days of curing. Now we will wind up with the conclusion. The addition of e-waste shows increase in compressive strength up to 15% replacement. Increase in split tensile strength is almost insignificant, whereas gain in flexural tensile strength have occurred even up to 15% replacement. E-waste seem to have a more profound effect on flexural strength than the split tensile strength. The use of e-waste in concrete is possible to improve its mechanical properties and can be one of the economical way for their disposal in environment friendly manner. The use of e-waste will also help in filling the environment surrounding. If you want to read more about this topic, you can go through the references. Thank you.